Hey everyone, it's a beautiful sunny afternoon here in Kelowna. We're at the golf course. Clearly, it is not quite open yet, but we're getting there. We're close. And uh, doing a What's in My Bag golf video today, plus a Back to Golf giveaway. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that, which I'm going to share a little bit more in the video. But with that being said, let's get started. So before we dive into the bag, just gonna quickly run through our back to golf giveaway. So we got two awesome prizes. All you have to do to enter, number one, subscribe, button in the lower right corner. Number two, comment below, let me know what is your favorite club in the bag, those two things. And you could have a chance to win. What could it be? Drum roll. We got a sleeve theme. So number one, <clears throat> sleeve of, a sleeve of a sleeve of Srixon Z Star <laughs> golf balls. Say that five times fast. Very difficult. Awesome golf balls. These are my go-to's. Always got them in the bag. And number two, this legendary Kulik, which is a drink sleeve, a mug, really whatever you want it to be. It fits drinks. Different sizes. You got a bottle opener on the bottom. High tech, and it's a local company here in Kelowna. Always got to support local. You can even unscrew the top, throw your coffee and Baileys in there, take a few sips through the round or whatever you prefer, water, Gatorade. I'm a Gatorade guy myself, hence the Gatorade bottle there, but always gotta keep this in the bag. Huge to have in the cart. So, with that being said, subscribe, comment, let's dive in. We'll start out with some of the smaller things on the left there, just to give you a little bit of a taster feel before we before we showcase the good stuff here. So, as you can see here, lots of tees, different sizes, different lengths. I use Nike golf shoes. I have narrower feet, which is why I do that. They're nice and muddy right now. They're also waterproof and they have spikes. Two things that are kind of mandatory on my list because my, sling, my swings are wild and I often slip. Uh, right now I'm using Kirkland golf gloves. I have tailor-made golf gloves as well and FootJoy and I've used different gloves in the past. These come in a pack of three and they work great. Can't go wrong with Kirkland. I love Costco. I've also got my Bushnell range finder. Great little tool, it's durable, it's lasted me a long time. It does not do slope, so it's legal for tournament play. One funny story with this, make sure you've got your metrics right. I had this in meters and it's supposed to be yards. Golf uses yards. And uh, when I was zoning in, I kept landing like 15 yards short on all my shots. And the guys I was playing with were like, there's no way that yardage is correct. Turns out it was in meters, so don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, but a great tool to have on the course. Always gotta stay hydrated, got my Gatorade water bottle there. Um, and of course, a few different uh, ball markers and uh, divot repair tools give you a close up shot of that. So with that being said, let's jump in to the golf clubs here. A little bit of background. Last year I purchased a new iron set and they are the Titleist T100s custom fitted from our head pro here at the Kelowna Golf and Country Club. Just going to get a shot here to show you 4 iron comparison with my new T100 versus what I was previously using my uh, R9s for many years. So we've got from this angle, you know I, had, I brought my handicap down to about 5 using these R9s and uh, not a lot of control, not a lot of shot, sh shot shape, but they worked. Uh, I still, to this day, love these irons. But now we've got these new Titleist T100s in the bag. Pitching wedge to four iron, standard golf pride grip. I love the white look of these. Like I said, a little bit of a longer shaft, so I think we've got about half an inch tagged onto most of them. And the Project X shafts are in them. The reason I went with the Project X, they're a little bit of a heavier shaft, and it was strictly the data. So I tried, I think, four different shafts and these ones had the best dispersion and the distances were mostly what I was used to. So I, stuck, I went with these and the feel was great. The reason I went with the T100s, tried Callaway, Ping, Titleist, um, a few others. So I had about six irons in the bag that I was testing out. Confidence, nothing else. Looking down on these, I was like, okay, I'm gonna hit a good shot. 
and ultimately I'm not a technical golfer I'm a feel guy that's just how I kind of didn't learn through lessons and a bunch of stuff over the years I just learned by doing and so when I look down and I can be confident in my shot that uh, was kind of the ticket for me with these T100s I think they look great they feel great and so far they perform great so one thing to consider with this is I am a four handicap. I tried out the CBs as well and some more blade-like irons. For me, I clearly need to work on my ball striking because it was just too inconsistent for me. I love that these have performance, shape, distance, and forgiveness. Forgiveness is important. Also with the fact that, you know, switching from an R9 to something like this, going from an R9 straight to a blade would just be it would have been uh, too much for me and I, I think it probably would have affected my performance in terms of ball striking and approach shots. So wanted to avoid that. So we're gonna give you a little bit of a breakdown. Uh, we'll start small and work our way up. First club here is Ping Carson answer to putter. It's an old putter. I bought it off a friend for $50 in grade 10 and I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. I absolutely love it. Get a couple good shots of it there I uh, after a couple years with it I put on a kind of medium grip here so this is the win standard larger grip not sure what it technically is but um, yeah I like my putter I putt well with it I think last year I averaged between 32 and 33 putts around which is gonna drop this year you can hold me to that not much else to say about the putter but I love it and ultimately with a putter in my opinion, it's it comes down to what works and what feels good. You can putt with anything. You could go and if you like your mini golf putters and they work well for you, then go for it. You, if you've got a $600 Scotty Cameron, it's probably going to work well for you. So, whatever you feel confident with and you know you can putt well with, stick with that. Up next, in order of distance, least to most, after the putter is our 58 degree wedge. So last year I got some new. Vokey SM7 wedges in the bag, 58 and a 52, as well as my old 56, which is a Callaway wedge. And uh, after one round with these, I knew I had to have them in my bag. The spin on them was a lot better than I was used to, and just more versatility and variety in terms of uh, wedge shots and play from you know 100 yards in. So yeah, this 58 degree Vokey wedge is great. It also has a very similar look and feel to my irons, which is important for that continuity, whether you're hitting short or long shots. I like having that in my bag. Up next, we've got the 52 Vokey SM7. So it's the same club, same grip, same shaft. Everything is the same with the exception of the loft. So 52 SM7, I love. And in between those, we've got the Callaway Jaws, no, Callaway Mac Daddy 2, so an older wedge. This is what I had in my bag for wedge play only with the R9. So I was really not using a lot of different wedges. I'd have this club for every single shot you can think of, and it worked well for me over the years. Um, but it was time for a change and an upgrade. This is more or less my rock club now. So if I'm on gravel or just in an area I don't want to be, then that's where I'll pull this bad boy out. Now that we're through the irons, pitching wedge, two four iron is my T100s. So I'm gonna loop in a couple videos here so you can see my trajectory as well as you can see what the club looks like to look down on it. We'll pick it back up at the three iron.
Now that you've seen all my T100s and what they look like, we've got this bad boy, the TaylorMade Gapper Low 3 hybrid iron, utility iron, driver iron, call it what you want. But I love this club. It's probably, when I'm hitting it well, my favorite club in the, in the bag. It's a small face, but the sweet spot feels massive. Uh, this thing can just go. It actually substitutes a three wood for me. Uh, I don't have any woods in my bag with the exception of my driver. The reason I do that is because this has way more control and accuracy. If I need to carry over 230, I'm just gonna have to lay up and I, I accept that in terms of playing smart golf. Uh, but this thing can get up to 260 yards off the tee, you know, on a warm day. And it's a fun club to hit. It works really well for its purpose and you can hit it in the rough, on the fairway. Uh, big fan. So TaylorMade, Gapper, three iron, hybrid. Love it. And last, but certainly not least, just gonna pull my beautiful Hazel Golf Co. shout out head cover off of my TaylorMade M2. A bit of an older driver. If I had to pick one club that's going to get replaced in my bag, this is probably the next one. My Golf Spy also just released that awesome driver test that, where they tested like 18,000 shots. And that was super intriguing. So I'm definitely gonna be taking that into account with my next club. But TaylorMade M2 driver, just your classic driver. It works well for its purpose. Um, I enjoy hitting it. I've gotten a lot more consistent with it as well. You know, generally speaking, a, a good drive, I'm, I'm typically in kind of the 280, 290 distance range. If I hit it really well and the wind and sun is working and wind and slope is working in my favor, I may luck out and get down to the, you know, 300 plus mark, but I'm not a super long hitter. Uh, thankfully, it uh, can often be a fairway finder for me. Um, but yeah, if it's not working well, you know, especially on courses that aren't too long. I'm almost, you know, I'll have some rounds where I can go probably the, the vast majority of par fours and fives with my, my three iron there. So yeah, I've got a good variety of clubs. Um, I'm very, very happy with every club in my bag. Really not a lot of complaints. And remember, subscribe and comment for your chance to win some golf balls and that awesome Kulik drink sleeve. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.